Hi, it's good to be back in the vocabulary and pronunciation video. Today, let's talk colors. So this is our outline. We are going to talk about colors. There will be 11 of them and we'll be looking at the spelling and I will also try to find the closest um, vowel and ending combination in English. And next, we'll be looking at the fun fact. Now, first color, pink. The closest sound in English is from the word bonkers. So, um, home, 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 pink. And the first thing that I think of when I think of the word pink is pink cheek, ma home, ma home. After pink, we have red. And the closest sound is like from the word dar. And you remove the R. So we have da, 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 da. So we have rosy cheek now. Red lips, moi da, moi da. Next, darker shade of red, brown. This one shouldn't be causing you problems because it's no, no. What can be brown? Hair, brown hair. Tóc no. Tóc no. Orange. We have the word farm here. So it's the vowel and ending combination. But again, we move the R. We have am. Gam. 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 Okay. So for orange, it's a little bit different. Um, most of the cases I can think of, almost all of the cases I can think of, is when we have the word mau in front of it. Example, for orange shirt, we have ao, mau, gam. Maybe to distinguish, um, this shirt is have the orange color instead of the orange fruit patterns. So for orange, we often have the word mau in front. Here we have ao, mau, gam. Next, yellow. Here we have the English word fang. So vowel and ending. Ang. Vang. 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 So without the tone, we have vang. With the tone, vang. Vang, vang. Okay? Yellow. A very common thing that I think ceased to exist nowadays. Really uncommon. But back in the days, we see it a lot, which, are, which is yellow page. Chang vang, chang vang. For blue and green, in our everyday life, uh, to say it quick, we only say one word, which is sang. Now let's break it down. Ang, sang, sang. Sang. Okay. Now, what about when we want to specify the color? 
because of course they are completely different colors. So what we do is we add a distinguish object of each color after the name sang. So for green we have sang la cây, sang la cây. So la cây literally means a uh, leaf of the tree. So therefore sang la cây means green. And for blue, we have the color of the sea. So the Vietnamese word is sang nước biển. Sang nước biển. And nước biển means the water of the sea, sea water. For purple or violet, we have a word very similar to word tim. But please, again, this one, pay attention to the Vietnamese T. Tim. Tim. That's the Vietnamese. And for English, Tim. Tim. So, our T is a little bit more subtle. And with the tone, we have Tim. Tim. Theme. What can be purple? Hmm. Eggplant. I don't know, but for purple, all the first thing I can think of is an eggplant. Hmm. And it is ca theme. Ca theme. Though this is the name of a vegetable, not necessarily <laughs> a color of something, but ca theme. Now oh, we come to word gray. Now we have again these two combination again, this combination again. So remove the R. Am. Sam. 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 One word for gray can be. Go Sam, go Sam, gray bear, gray bear. For white, uh, unfortunately we have a combination that is really hard to find in English, which is ang. I think if you're French, you are more likely to find words with this combination, but nevertheless, Ang, ang, chang, 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 chang. Okay, so without the tone, chang, with the tone, chang, chang, chang. White, white paper. Zay chang, zay chang, and finally the opposite of white is black. And for the vowel and ending sound, it is similar to the word tent in English. But so we remove the first and the last t. We have n, then. Then, then. So one word can be black is black ink. Mực then. And you know what? When we combine the word giấy trắng, white paper, with mực then, black ink, it means that something is very clear. It is written on paper and not just verbal and easy to modify or adjust. So, our fun fact of the day is about the Vietnamese flag. And I, as a Vietnamese, when I think of our flag, I think of the phrase Cờ đỏ sao vàng Cờ đỏ sao vàng Which means 
red flag, yellow star, cờ đỏ, red flag, sao vàng, yellow star. But what is the meaning behind the colors? There are actually two theories. The first theory said that the red represents màu đỏ, màu đỏ, and the yellow is da vàng, da vàng, and as you can see, màu đỏ means red blood. And da vàng means yellow skin. So the first theory says that the red represents all of the blood of our ancestors who sacrificed themselves for us. And da vàng is the color of our skin. The second theory says otherwise the red is for revolution. Cách mà, cách mà, and the yellow is our tradition, truyền thống, truyền thống. Now these two sounds a lot different from each other, but there's one thing in common, that is the meaning of the five-pointed star. Fine point star. So, uh, the five points actually represents the five social classes. First, we have C, Nong, Gong, Phương, Bing. C, Nong, Gong, Phương, Bing. The, intellect, the intellectual, the farmer, the laborer, the merchant, and the soldier all come into one, join in the same body. So what do you think among between the first and the second theory? Which one do you think is more reasonable? Please leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion. That's it for today guys. I hope you learned something new. If I missed any color, please leave it down in the comment and I would love to hear from you. See you next time.